Sugar seems to be in almost everything from our morning cereals to the sauces we add to our evening meal. Too much not only expands our waistlines but can harm our health. Now a new report says sugar should be regulated. Dana Hutchings has details in tonight's checkpoint. Stacey, authors of this report don't mince words. They say sugar is toxic. They point to sugar as a major culprit behind killers such as heart disease, cancer and diabetes, which are now a greater health issue than infectious disease. Do you know how much sugar you eat in a day? According to an article in the journal Nature, the average North American eats more than 450 calories of added sugar daily. That's sugar that's put in processed food to make it taste better and sugar you add yourself. The researchers say too much added sugar is simply not good for our health. It can increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. It also ends up causing changes in your arteries. It binds to proteins in your arteries, causing them to be less flexible, less stretchy, and that contributes to cardiovascular disease. It's recommended that women should limit their daily added sugar intake to no more than 100 calories or about 6 teaspoons of sugar. Men should have no more than 150 calories or 9 teaspoons a day. Just one can of pop, for example, has about 130 calories. Dietary experts suggest people read the labels of the foods they eat and substitute fruit or vegetables for processed foods high in sugar. When you have your kids, you need to start thinking about what you introduce them to and those tastes that you're developing for them. If you develop a taste for sweetened yogurt, they will always like sweetened yogurt. If you start them with plain yogurt and just add some fresh or some frozen fruit into it, they will develop a taste for that and they will enjoy it even more than the sweetened kind. The authors of the report also suggest more drastic measures may be needed, such as adding taxes to processed foods or drinks that contain added sugars, taking fructose off the list of foods generally regarded as safe, and limiting the availability of sugary products in and around schools. Our checkpoint question tonight, should sugar be regulated like alcohol? Yeah, I think it should be. I think uh, that, you know, it's proven that it does have a detrimental effect on people's health and that uh, too much sugar is not good for you. I just think that even in lots of natural fruits and vegetables have natural sugar, so sugar is just part of everything that we have. No, but I think people should be aware that, that people should be informed more of, of uh, how, how bad it can be for you. How can you regulate sugar if it's in everything you eat? I think that sugar definitely, we need to cut down. It's in everything from salad dressings to soups, things we don't expect it to be in. And I think it's gone overboard. Yeah, I agree. I think it should be cut down. From Facebook, Ryan says sugar is toxic. However, it's the parents' responsibility to ensure their children are eating right, not the government's. Kara says, as with all things, use discretion, moderation, consideration, and education. Shannon says, studies say that we don't get enough sleep either, so is the government going to tell us when to go to bed? Ridiculous. And the results of our web poll, 24% said yes, while 76% don't think sugars should be regulated.